Greetings, I decided to do 22.4, number 6. And the first question asks, in finding the co composition of two rigid motions, does it matter in which order the rigid motions are done? And apparently so. And I did this through example, and now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have done, should have done an interactive video, but here we go. On the left-hand side of the screen, I have a line L in our original image, this eclipse labeled E. And the first thing I'm going to do is a reflection across this line to give us our first image, E prime. And then I'm going to translate it along vector AB to give us our second image, E double prime. And we can see its location with respect to the original image. On the right-hand side of the screen, I reverse the order and we're going to translate and then reflect. So we have our line L and our original or our original ellipse E and we're going to translate it uh, along vector AB to give us this first image E prime and then we're going to reflect that across our line L to give us our final image E double prime and once we do that we can see that the final images for each side are in different locations with respect to the original image. So we can say that the order in which we compose um, basic rigid motions does matter. Um, this is in contrast to say if we're given two, Im two, um, two shapes uh, that are either similar or congruent and we are asked to map one onto the other that is a little bit different and allows for a lot more leeway in how one goes about it. Uh, the second part asks us, with the translation and reflection that define a glide reflection, does it matter in which the order the motions are done? Um, and for this it's important to remember that glide reflections only work when we're talking about a line parallel to the vector that we're going to use uh, for a translation. So if line L and vector AB are parallel, this will work. So on the left hand side we're going to translate and then reflect. So we have this original uh, image lambda and we translate along vector AB to lambda prime. Then we reflect across L to give us our final image lambda double prime. And on the right hand side of the screen we're going to do it in the opposite order so we're going to reflect lambda across this line L to give us lambda prime and then translate lambda prime along vector AB to give us lambda double prime our final image and we can see that lambda double prime for both um, orders will uh, are in the same location with respect to the original image thank you for your time